All right, everybody, welcome back to Physics Gaming. Today, taking a look at Vampire Survivors. Um, so I have tried to record this, I think, three times now, and each time something goes wrong. So I, I do have a few of these things already unlocked, and I think I have one power up for Magnet. Oh, I can refund. Okay, I'm just going to do that so that we basically, we're starting from the beginning. So... I saw this game from a few different places, first being Splattercat Gaming on YouTube, second being uh, Northern Lion, uh, one of the best streamers, I mean that's just my opinion, egghead guy, best guy. Uh, so I picked it up, you know, it was three bucks and I tried it out one night and I was like, you know what, this is actually pretty fun, I'm gonna maybe record record a few games here. So it's a, it's a pretty simple game. We'll jump into it now. There's uh, four characters currently. You start with just Antonio and you got to buy the rest of them. And like I said, I, I tried a few times and the, the recordings just didn't quite work. So we'll go ahead and pick the first guy here. But you're going to walk around. You have these different uh, abilities, I guess I'll call them, or items maybe, that will automatically attack and hit units and blah blah blah, right? They'll drop items, and by items I guess I just mean EXP, they don't really drop anything else. And you'll fill up that bar at the top here, and once one of these guys drops another one, there we go. And you can pick upgrades when you level. Also, it gives you this crazy party that I'm sure is going to destroy the YouTube bitrate. Um, so we have options. Right now we just have a whip. Let's see, I should... I think I'll go with the Rune Tracer. And I, I took a lot of damage already, I really shouldn't have, but I was trying to rush getting that first level just to show you guys. Uh, there we go. So, also I wanted to say I apologize that uh, I haven't uploaded in quite a while. I think the last upload was probably like early November or something like that, and now it's sitting at uh, mid-late January. So it's been a little bit. Uh, I can explain more about that later on after we uh, talk some more about the game for anyone interested. But uh, the game, I've seen a lot of people describe it as like reverse bullet hell, where you are the bullet hell and the enemies have to deal with you. I don't really know if I would call it that, more like a horde defense or something like that. Uh, let's get the whip upgrade, so now it fires in front and behind us. And it, you know, it, it just kind of, the game's more of a power fantasy than anything else really, it's just like... How strong can you get before these guys eventually overtake you? And they, they will eventually overtake you. I don't think there's ever any like win condition. It's just you keep playing until you die. And what we got here is a nice little, uh, I don't know if they're called like elites or boss or whatever, but he dropped a nice red crystal for us. And you'll see that's gonna give us a ton of EXP. Like we gotta level up immediately. Um. Let's see, what do we want? King Bible gives us some uh, defense, I guess. Crown gives us a little bit of extra EXP. Garlic gives us a small AOE around us. I think we're gonna go with Garlic. From what I've uh, seen so far, Garlic has been pretty strong. It pretty much takes care of these little baby bats for you. And we'll go with Rune Tracer, get an upgrade on that. So basically, like I said, the game doesn't ever let you win. It's just kind of go until you uh, die. Like a high score kind of game, I guess. Uh, what happens is they will eventually start sending way too much stuff at you and there's really nothing you can do about it. Um, pretty good though. Very fun game. Definitely would recommend, especially I think it was $3 on Steam. You'd, I mean, that's hard to, hard to beat. Also, you get these random events like that swarm of bats. I think there's going to be another few of them yeah, coming in. They just come in off screen, they don't really do anything, and you can't hurt them, so like as they come by, if I kill them, I'm gonna get extra EXP for it. And the garlic is perfect for that, so I might as well do it. Uh, let's take knife. Need another attack. Oh, knife kinda shoots wherever I'm walking, okay. I always thought it would just be directly forward, I've never taken it before, honestly. So we're gonna round up some of these bad boys. Keep them kind of corralled so that we can make sure we can go pick up all the EXP after they die. I don't think the EXP ever despawns, so even if it takes you a minute or two to get there, you'll still get whatever you get, you know? Um, character picks up items from further away, yes please. That's pretty goaded. So I've seen NL describe it as like a busy train station simulator where you're trying to schmoove in between everybody, catch your train as they all stand there. And I mean, I, I can get that. I, 
I'm assuming that's true. I'm just, as a person who doesn't really spend much time at a train station or on trains, you know, I, I live in America. I mean, we don't know that trains exist. Like, come on. It does the whole uh, tube to go from Las Vegas to wherever the heck it goes to and put one car in it at a time rather than, you know, putting an actual train or some kind of monorail or something. But anyway, uh, I personally, you know, I, I've got the, uh, the privilege of I work from home most of the time. Like, uh, as a software guy, I can usually remote into the office and do whatever I need to do. Sometimes you gotta go in for testing, right? And that's totally fine. Um, but because of that, I like to do a lot of my errands, kind of middle of the day. As I assume most people are also working out there, 9 to 5s, blah blah blah. You know, grinding. Uh, let's get spinach, just a base 10%, that's pretty good. Um, so, you know, I'll, I'll go to like Costco or Walmart or something at like 2 in the afternoon or the gym at like uh, noon-ish and that's, you know, it's usually pretty empty. But the, uh, the perils of that is that, uh, you know, it seems like some days might just be senior days or something. Oh, let's up that spinach again. Everything 10 more percent? I like that. Um, it's just me and the retirees, right? So it, it's me hanging out at Costco with a bunch of 70-year-olds. And one thing they absolutely love to do, and Costco gives you those gigantic carts, like way too big. And that's how they get you to buy way too much stuff. Go with some more garlic. Because, you know, I'll walk in there, and I've got a list that has one thing on it. What's that green thing over there? Okay, I guess we're, we're, time is stopped now. Let's just go kill everything, I guess. Um, so that, that's how they get you to buy way too much stuff, right? The classic, uh, your eyes are bigger than your stomach, your eyes are bigger than your wallet in this case. But, um, you know, these retirees, they love to go in there. And what they'll do is they will go to the aisle that they need to, or just any aisle, they'll go up and down every single one of them, park their cart right at the entrance, right in the middle of the aisle. Uh, let's get another knife. And then walk over up and down the aisle looking at whatever they're considering buying, you know, a new vacuum, a sink, uh, a 37 pack of underwear or something like that. Uh, we're trapped in here with these plants, huh? I think you can kill the plants actually to get out, but most of the time you can just kind of kite around. Anyway, uh, what was I saying? Costco, they're, yeah, they just park in that cart in the middle of the aisle and you gotta do the, the shmovement to get between them and to whatever you need to get to, you know, you gotta finish your fetch quests and then you can go back home. So I, you know, this is a very, very long tangent for saying that the uh, Northern Lion has been calling it the um, busy train station simulator. I think more of a busy Costco, busy Walmart simulator, you know, whatever the uh, appropriate version is for you, Sam's Club, BJ's Wholesale, you know, what, what have you, Dick's Sporting Goods or something. Yeah, but anyway, very fun game, it's a very long, very long tangent to describe nothing about the game itself, just uh, interesting I guess. So you saw... Earlier we had those swarm of bats coming in, and I'm sure we'll get them again. And we got surrounded by some plants that kind of lock you in there for a specific period of time. Yeah, we're getting some more bats. So there's these random events that kind of keep you on your toes. Other than that, you're kind of kiting people around, trying to deal as much damage as you can. You gotta remember to pick up all the uh, EXP so you can keep getting levels, or else these guys are gonna outscale you pretty hard. I think they scale both with your level, slash like EXP, as well as just time in general. So even if I didn't pick up EXP and I stayed level 1 for half an hour, I think they would still level up. Um, let's see... I think we're gonna go with Fire Wand, we'll get a new attack here. Yeah, Fire Wand's nice, because you don't have to aim. Like the knife, I gotta make sure I'm walking in the right direction. Rune Tracer seems to just go anywhere, I don't think I can control it whatsoever. Whereas Fireball seems to be kind of like, uh, not homing, but, you know, at least has some aim. Ooh, we got a treasure chest. If you've seen anything about this game yet, it is probably the treasure chest animation. It is like the pinnacle of the, what are they called, gacha games? G-A-C-H-A, -A. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong. But, uh, you know, where you open up a loot box and you go, you know, and they really uh, lay it on thick to keep you uh, spending your mom's credit card and buying another $20 key for a game that you really don't like all that much. I don't know what this thing does. Oh, nice. It brings all the EXP to me. I'm going to get so many levels. More spinach, please. 
That was it? That was all the EXP? Man, I would've thought there would've been a lot more. Oh, a screen wipe. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. I think I accidentally took the heart there. I wanted to take Santa water. But yeah, this is what I'm saying. This is the, the primo serotonin hit. They really go hard on these. And this is, you know, this is the basic chest. I didn't even get a special one and they still make you go crazy. Like, look, you got a knife upgrade. Look how insane that is, you know? All right. Let's go grab the other one. Maybe we'll get something a little bit nicer, huh? Get the really crazy animations going. All right, I need you guys to step back. Thank you. Let's open this one. Oh yeah, there we go. We got the three for right there. And they go, they go absolutely ham on these. Uh, we got a garlic, a fire wand, and the the health boy. I still, I didn't really want the health boy. Let's see, fire wand base damage up by ten. Hollow Heart, max health increased by another 10%. And Garlic, base air. Oh man, this Garlic is getting huge. I can basically stand 20 feet away from him and hurt him. I don't know, it, I haven't, I don't think there's a lore. I, I mean, I probably shouldn't use that word, but story, I don't know. Am I the vampire or are they the vampires? And I'm killing vampires, I, I don't really know. I mean, uh, I guess by the fact that I have the garlic, they are vampires and I am not. That would be my assumption. Could be wrong. I don't know. Either way, still enjoyable. Um, let's upgrade the whip, I think. Uh, get some more damage on that bad boy right there. Oh, we got a little chicken over here. I'm gonna go grab that because we're kind of low on health. There's also a lot of EXP in this area, so I probably should be moving on over. I should be moving more. I was kind of standing still for a little bit there, letting them pile up. Honestly, I, with the garlic, I should be walking at them, if anything. Like, this horde of bats is great for me. I can just stand still, clear them all out, get every EXP drop that they would have given me. Like, right now I'm supposed to be getting cornered by the swarm instead. You know what? They're trapped in here with me. I'm coming at you. Oh, ouch. I walked right into that guy. Uh, apparently the elites have a little bit more health than that. Um, let's take... Let's take this guy here. Reduce cooldowns, faster attack, that's pretty nice. Oh, ow, 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 ow. Okay, those bats have a lot of health. Okay, alright, alright. We got, we got a little too ballsy. So... Like I had mentioned earlier, it's been a while since I've done any, uh, recording or uploading. Apologies for that, but, uh, you know how it is. I think the last one was like uh, early November or something, something around there, and you know I was doing pretty pretty good at being consistent. Usually like a Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, I think. But uh, it took a very long break, as you could probably guess by my last upload date. So anyway, what what had happened is I had uh, gone home, and I guess I can't really say home because I, I live here now. You know, I bought the house, but I went back to you know Connecticut where I grew up. And, um, let's just say, you know, no longer engaged, I guess, you know, that's just how things go. But, uh, I am happily married, so that's a, that's an upgrade, I would say. Uh, so after, you know, the wedding, we went out and we had a, a week or so of vacation there. Uh, we're gonna take fire wand here. And from there, I went, um, well, I guess we came back here, but... We had, uh, December was, you know, obviously uh, Christmas and New Year's and blah blah blah. So it took some time off for that. And I was working some overtime at work. They needed a project to get done ASAP, so it was pretty busy. I didn't really feel like coming home after uh, doing all that extra work and you know, sitting down and editing the video. I probably should have just, you know, kept it going. Because once you get out of the habit, you kind of stop doing it. It's like going to the gym. You take a week out, a uh, week off, two weeks off, and next thing you know, you're never going again for another year or something. I am totally trapped here. I think I'm just gonna walk right out. Take a lot of damage, but oh well. So, trying to get back into it. Hopefully, we'll be back to some more uh, consistent uploads here for uh, 2022, and uh, we'll see how that goes. I have been working on some stuff for the other channel, the uh, game development channel. If anyone's interested in that one. 
I've been working on, oh boy, some a lot less like sexy stuff right now, which is why I can't, I don't really feel like it's something I can post. Because it's, you know, there's nothing really visual about it. Like, there, there is visuals, but it's just text on a screen. It's not really like, uh, you know, like you saw me opening that chest and that's like, Whoa, let's go crazy, wow! You know? <laughs> nothing that's gonna make a thumbnail anywhere. Let's do increased AoE. Oh yeah, get that garlic expanded. So, yeah, you know, we're working on it. We got something. Maybe I'll figure out the, a way to make it a little more exciting. Okay, why are there so many skeletons? Oh my gosh. This seems like they just want me to lose at this point. Am I not supposed to survive? I need to get around you? Nope, I'm not getting around you. I guess I was just destined to lose at that point. But, uh, that's Vampire Survivors plus a lot of long-winded uh, explanations of things and tangents and whatnot. But um, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments. I'm definitely going to try to play at least one run with each of the characters, and then we'll see. Maybe we can make some challenge runs, or honestly, the run itself is just fun, so I, <laughs> I don't really mind just playing some more anyway. But uh, yeah, drop a comment. Let me know what you guys thought. Feel free to uh, hit that like button and subscribe button. Uh, if you didn't enjoy it, hit the dislike, and they don't show me the numbers anyway, so hey, it doesn't hurt my feelings and uh, increases the engagement for me, so go ahead. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.